Jack World, Jack World, Jack World, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up y'all, this is Jax Phoenix and well, today I am visiting this place, it's uh, Elbow's Mac and Cheese. Uh, this place is actually down the street from my house. I've passed by here several times and I've been wanting to come. I saw a Facebook post about them needing help spreading the word out for their, for their restaurant and uh, that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna help them get the word out and uh, get people to come over and try this mac and cheese and this weather is amazing for mac and cheese i love mac and cheese i love all types of mac and cheese so like i'm excited to go inside and try it out and let's see what they got in store for me and well let's interview the owner as well and get a little bit of the history of this place and how it came about and how the concept came about and the idea and everything so stick around for another amazing episode of jack's world all right, y'all, so I want to give a shout out to my sponsors. First off, Millennium Copier Systems and Supplies. Millennium Copier Systems and Supplies. Also, City Taxi, City Taxi, McAllen. Speedy Transmissions, number two in McAllen. MRT Transmissions in Palmview. And RGV Cycle Center in McAllen. All right, thank you so much for supporting Jack's World. Side of the elbows mac and cheese i am your host Jax phoenix and i am here with none other than the general manager for elbows mac and cheese he is matthew matthew welcome to the show thank you for for having us here today and and for uh opening the doors for jack's world so we can you know try out this magnificent food you guys are bringing out to the valley this this is a particularly new uh location and we're trying to get the spread the word out so uh how long have you been uh, working here matthew so i've been here since we opened we did open in late november late october or sorry early november late october of last year so this is about to be a year that we've been open um it's been fun it's been a crazy ride and of course you know thank you for stopping by it's a pleasure to to allow you guys to see the inside world of mac and cheese and uh, you know people ask what's so great about mac and cheese we're not just mac and cheese we're mac and cheese with different sides sandwiches pizzas and appetizers also you guys also have pizzas and stuff because yes, i sir. haven't looked at the menu yet uh, so i'm excited to look at the menu but uh i love pizza i love pizza and everybody loves mac and cheese i mean i think everybody uh, watching us right now uh, loves mac and cheese, especially in this weather, because this weather is uh, pretty nice and chilly. And, really relaxing. Know, pretty weather. relaxing. So Elbow's mac and cheese is like nice and cozy. Uh, you know, macaroni, a pasta, a pizza. So, uh, what is your favorite dish? Uh, what, what would you recommend? What is your favorite? Because uh, I want to, I'm gonna try something right now. So, what would you recommend me as the general manager being here a year already? What I always recommend is my personal favorite, the winging it. So the winging it, regular large combo or by itself. To me, I always get it with the combo. Regular, uh, regular winging it comes with three boneless buffaloes on top. Can't tell you the ingredients of the inside, but uh -huh. it's very delicious, very chewy, mm -hmm. very cheesy. Uh huh. Uh, does have some blue cheese crumble. Don't Ooh. worry, you can option out of it. No, but that, so, I love blue cheese, bro. I, I love that little. It gives it that little kick. Uh, you, you, it's an acquired taste. A lot of people don't like it. 
but it's like a 50-50. It's like the pineapple doesn't go on pizza. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally like it. I don't care what anybody says. So yeah, yeah, throw some blue cheese in there, brother. Blue cheese, and then with my personal favorite, I get the Caesar salad on the uh -huh. side, and of course, the founder drink. And it does come with uh, with mac and cheese, you said, or no? It is all mac and cheese. It is all mac and cheese. So okay, basically, okay. when you get the regular bottom portion of that little aluminum pan that we have, uh -huh. it's all cheesy mac and cheese. Okay. And then, of course, we have our seasonings, our sauces, mm -hmm. and then on top is the three boneless okay. with scallions, blue cheese, and buffalo ranch. Ooh, that sounds amazing. So I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and try today, folks. So stick around, we're about to jump into the table and try some good food. So thank you, Matthew, for having us here today and I'm looking forward to trying it out. So stick around, Jack's World. Elbows and mac and cheese episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out, Matthew. Oh, Ooh. Right. A taste that I'm guaranteeing that you won't regret. Ooh, thank you so much, brother. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so we're ready to try this awesome food. Thank you so much to my sponsors, Millennium Copper Systems and Supplies. City Taxi in McAllen, Speedy Transmissions number two in McAllen as well, and MRT Transmissions in Palmview. Um, also, RGV Cycle Center in McAllen. Thank you so much for supporting Jack's World and what this channel brings to our people. Thank you so much to my subscribers. I'm about to reach 500 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing uh, for more awesome uh, content like this and also thank you to Elbows Mac and Cheese for opening their doors we're about to try this awesome food and uh, and it looks amazing as y'all can see uh, I like the way they played it everything looks look, look at this I mean it looks it looks great so let's see let's give it a try real quick okay so we got uh, a boneless right here mm. check this out Ooh. Oh my God. This is delicious, y'all. This is freaking delicious. The, um, so first of all, the, um, the boneless wings are amazing. They're perfectly crisp. I love the, I love the, the juiciness on the inside and the crispiness on the outside, the tanginess in the sauce is just very, very good. It goes very well with the mac and cheese. Let's go for another, let's go for another bite because this is, this is to die for y'all, especially with this weather right now. Uh, I believe they're, they're on, uh, on Favor and uh, all those at Uber Eats and everything y'all can um, order online. I'm gonna put a, a, a barcode here in the screen in a little bit so y'all can scan that barcode and y'all can go straight to their menu and check their menu out their menu looks really good this is just one part of it this is not it y'all this is just one part of their menu they also have pizzas and other pastas but this is what we're showing you right now this is called the wing in it and this is a large portion all right so we're going for another another bite here we go mm. 
Look at this little corner here. This little corner here looks fucking good, man. Look at that. The cheesiness, look. Last time I saw cheesiness like that was in a Ninja Turtles movie. Mm. The cheese, this isn't like your regular everyday mac and cheese, y'all. The cheese is very good. It's like the equivalent of like a pizza cheese or something like the, the consistency that it has is very good. It's like a mix of cheeses, but it's delicious. I know they can't tell us the recipe, but y'all gotta try it out, man. Y'all can make it here, order it online. You know, go online and order it. Elbow's Mac and Cheese located here on, uh, what's this? I believe this is uh, Jackson right here. Yeah, I think it's Jackson. Mm. Fresh salad, fresh pasta. This doesn't taste like it was frozen at any point. It tastes homemade. It tastes like it was just made right now, which, which it was. Mmm. Mmm. Freaking delicious, y'all. Thank you so much. For tuning in, thank you so much. Um, this meal right here is amazing. It's, this is like a two or three person meal, but I'm not gonna finish it all right now. I'm just taking a few nibbles that I can show you all. But this this can feed like, like two or three people. Two people for sure, but if you don't eat that much, uh, two adults and possibly a kid can eat with this, right? This, this one meal right here. And, um, and it tastes, the, 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 the crispiness on the, on the top, it's just immaculate, y'all. Like, it's just a perfect, perfect crisp, man. It's, it tastes so good. That's this crispy area right here. This crispiness right here is to die for. Look at that. That's gonna be, this is gonna be the thumbnail right here. Check it out. Mmm. Mmm. I'm the king of the world, man. <laughs> like Tony Montana. Really good. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to look them up on Facebook, on Instagram. Look them up on Grubhub, um, Uber Eats, um, all those food ordering uh, apps that they, that they have. Uh, I use Favor a lot. Check them out on Favor. Order it up. Right now the weather is perfect to try out Elbow's Mac and Cheese here in Far Texas. Thank you so much. Thank you Elbow's Mac and Cheese for opening your doors for us today. Thank you for tuning in for, to Jack's World. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you to my sponsors and let's keep subscribing so I can keep bringing some more content for you guys, all right? Thank you. Jack's World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't finish the show yet. I haven't had dessert. Where's Matthew? Hey, hey what's up, Matthew? I just want to check out everything. Bro, I really, really love the food. I, I love the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese tastes really good. The crispiness on top is amazing. The, the boneless wings are super delicious. I really, really like them. And also, the salad is super fresh. So, I am glad to hear. I'm loving the fact that everything is fresh, as it should always be. It is fresh. But I think you are forgetting one thing. Uh huh? Dessert. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I haven't had dessert, so I might as well have a uh, dessert. Uh, customers keep walking out the door and really uh, happy, you know, with their with their food. I keep seeing people coming in and out, and uh, and let's keep their traffic going, y'all, because this what. place is really good. I'll bring you something special. I'll bring you some funnel fries. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's try it out.
All right, so we're still here at Elbow's Mac and Cheese. We haven't left yet because we had to try their signature dessert. What do you got for me, Matthew? So these are our famous bottle fries. It's like going to a carnival without having to wait in line. My <laughs> personal favorite. I love them. If I continue eating them all day, I'll be bigger than what I am right now. <laughs> man, this looks so good, man. I've never, I've never seen this before in my life, man. Nobody's ever thought about this, man. This is amazing. Look, check this out, y'all. You want to pan down here real quick? Camera lady, check it out. Look at that, y'all. Look at those right there. Ooh, they're nice and crispy. They're fresh. Look, and there's different dips that you can check, that you can uh, dip them in. What's this here? What's this What's this dip here, Matthew? So this one is our chocolate syrup. Chocolate this syrup? This is our strawberry jam. And of course, our whip. Mmm. Dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, this here alone, to get to a lot of people through the door, man. Trust this me. is what we need to push. A lot of people didn't really understand or know that we had desserts like this. And one night, I pushed it so much that we completely sold out. And I was still trying to sell them until I realized, wait, we don't even have any more. We don't have any more. Dude, this is so good, y'all, for real. Like, this is really good, Matthew. Who got the idea for this? Whose idea was this? So, Isaac, the owner. Uh-huh. Is oh my God. one who actually had this brilliant idea to open a restaurant sometime near future. Is he is he gonna show up anytime? He's actually coming pretty soon. Hopefully we can catch him before the show ends, y'all, because I want to get to know him. I want to talk to him a little bit. And trust me, he'll give you his better side of his background mm -hmm. more better than I could. But from what I know him, he's been a great person, very care uh, caring. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that he cares more about than selling food is making sure that people leave it happy. He wants to make sure that you guys customer service. want to come back the next day. Yeah, no, and that's what it's all about, man. Customer service and good food. And this food is really good. The portions are amazing. This here alone is uh, is making me want to want to come back. The, the food already wouldn't make me come back, but this here is like, man, like the cherry on top. I was already gonna leave. And Matthew told me, no, wait, don't leave yet. We got something for you, we got a surprise for you. I was closing the show, and he told me, no, wait, don't close the show because we got something good for you. And you know what, I'm glad I stayed because Matthew, this is, this is delicious. All these sauces here put together. I'm, do, I'm, I'm now doing the trifecta. I got a little bit of all three. Mm. Good. This is great, man. Y'all need to try it. Don't go to the carnival. Go to Elbow's Mac and Cheese. You know why? Because they're crispy all around. The funnel cakes at the carnival, they got a lot of harina in the inside, but this is nice and crispy, man. These are literally, literally funnel cake fries. Literally, man. They're fucking good. Thank you, Matthew, for, for this. I appreciate you, man. Enjoy the rest of your meal. Thank you. All right, y'all, so welcome back to this episode of Jack's World here at Elbows Mac and Cheese in Far, Texas. I'm here with the owner, Isaac. I didn't know if I was gonna get to meet him or not because his schedule was a little crazy today. We've been trying to schedule this show for quite some time and uh, our schedules are a little crazy and some days we were able to and some days we weren't and then like today we finally did it and I'm glad we did because Isaac, I wanna congratulate you, man. The food that you offer in this restaurant is top notch. Um, I love the quality of the food. I love uh, the taste, you know, the it tastes amazing. It is like, it's, it's, home, it's homemade food. It tastes really good. It does not taste like it's been frozen, y'all. This tastes like homemade. It was made right here fresh for you. The salad was good. These things right here, these these fries right here, these things had me, these things had me melting, man. It had me melting, and these things were good. I really like this concept, this idea. This idea just here itself is 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 good enough to get people in here. So I saw your post on Facebook when uh, <clears throat> you were trying to reach out to the public, like, hey, we've been here for a while, and uh, we need your support to get the word out about this this uh, restaurant. Yes, exactly. Well, it was it was a call for help, actually. I mean, it was to the community. What I wanted was help in getting up, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, share it. Imagine if every person shares it on their Facebook or Instagram. 
and um, possibilities are endless. Like, yeah. Imagine that every person that shares at least has 100 people in. Mm -hmm. And we were shared 4,000 times. So that's around 400,000 views that we should be, or exposures that we should be getting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't match to uh, the kind of uh, people that are coming in right now. Mm -hmm. But those couple days after we did the post, it was massive. Yeah. I did put on the post. I don't want it to be something where I want everyone to show up and, and have like a boom and then lie down. I really just wanted to get out there. To be consistent. Because this place where we're at, this plaza, this plaza is beautiful. Yeah, this, it this is. This plaza is like, like if you're in Austin or somewhere up north, mm -hmm. but it's so hidden. Because before it was like we were coming down here and uh, you're like, past gold gyms, there's nothing to turn yeah. around and go back and see yeah. yeah. But now that we have this plaza, and I hope it does start growing that way, but people don't know. Well, now, well, I mean, hopefully after this video, we'll, get, we'll help get the word out. This plaza, like you mentioned, is beautiful. Uh, before you got here, I was doing some shots with my drone that uh, I'm pretty sure the, the, the crowd already saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, some amazing uh, drone shots and how beautiful, how beautiful, nice and, 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 and clean it looks. I mean, the, the greenery, like the, 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 the modernness, it looks so modern. And, uh, and it's such a, such a nice uh, environment you have in here. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's very nice uh, the way you uh, decorated it, the, the idea behind it, everything, you know, the, from the lights to the neon lights to even the, even the restrooms, man. Even the restrooms are, are, are really nice. And you know, sometimes you go to a place and everything's cool and then you go to a restroom, you're like, ah, oh, damn. But man, here, you, you, they even have a selfie mirror. So you can take a selfie in the restroom you know how amazing is that and they have a selfie camera um, out here for your kids so your kids can take some photos while you're eating they can take some photos and and, and share them on social media and isaac i wanted to ask you man um, um is this your first restaurant is this your first restaurant venture it is uh before i used to work on uh, different culinary institutes or uh, other restaurants or general manager or uh, kitchen or everything, right? I do have a culinary background. Mm -hmm. Before that, I used to work for uh, Maseca. Okay. I was a uh, marketing director for Maseca for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, where I, that's where I came from, actually. Uh, everything mm -hmm. else I, I know how to do is from my major in marketing in mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. So all of my life, it's been marketing and then culinary. Yeah. So it got to that point where... You mixed uh, it. Yeah. Uh, during COVID, me and my friend we were talking about, a friend of me were talking about doing something, mm -hmm. doing a restaurant or doing a, I don't know, another business. And we started looking into, let's start a quick restaurant, something that, this was nothing quick, nothing quick about it. It just did, did take us a long time. It's not a franchise, mm -hmm. it is a license though. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference between franchise and license, a license I could redo all the recipes mm -hmm. and uh, license. I don't have to follow the concept. Like this concept in here mm -hmm. is new to mm -hmm. Like when they saw what we were doing, they're like, oh, we want to franchise that. Yeah. So uh, the, the good They wanted to steal your ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can, we can, we'll, we'll talk about it, but to franchise this would be incredible. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got to make this one work. Yeah. But the bad thing about it is we started at a point where right now we're feeling a recession that comes after COVID. Yeah. So if you, a lot of people are like, COVID's bad, pay it's gone, that's it. No, the recession after COVID. Yeah, well, the, 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 the aftermath, you know, the aftermath. But hey, we got to remind people that if you don't want to come out or, or come into physically here, there's social media, I mean, not social media, I'm sorry, there's apps, you know, there's, there's, there's Uber Eats, there's Favor, Grubhub. You can go online and order your food and it'll be, it'll be ordered directly to your doorstep. So, um, you don't have to come in physically. It'll be nice for you to come in, but you can also order online. And man, let me tell you, it's worth it because after you're done eating, because you're not gonna finish this portion. I'm, let me tell you, you're not gonna finish this portion. There's gonna be leftovers for later. And what a great concept of giving, uh, 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 giving you the food on this tray because you can put this in the oven and then heat it up later and it'll be uh, perfectly good again. I mean, this is yes. a perfect, I love that. I love it. Seven minutes at 350 and it'll be ready. It'll be ready again. So there you have it, man. Like it's that, that's a, that's a perfect concept. I really like that. I like, I'm, I'm a guy that I like to heat up my leftovers. 
So that's perfect right there. Yeah, Did you come up with that or who came up you with know, it? It's, it's part of what, what they sold us in the license, that okay. concept. Oh, okay. But um, we have changed the trays, they were all rounds, so now we have these. We have little ones, big ones. These trays are really nice, and I like how it says elbows there. Like, check it out. With the licensing. It's super nice. We have a whole bunch of the, in the stories that we brought from, from California, just in case anything, right? But so then elbows, uh, mac and cheese is from somewhere else then? Yes, okay. So the concept of elbows mac and cheese started in New York. Okay. Punita Patel, she's uh, the owner of the brand. Mm -hmm. She was in New York, she went to uh, a restaurant and mm -hmm. she saw that they were making gourmet mac. Oh, okay. okay. So, gourmet mac in that restaurant took them a while mm -hmm. to bring it out. So, like, how can we do this concept fast? So, she uh, got with the chef and uh, they started doing this, but the old school way, with pots and pans. Mm -hmm. Hey, it took a lot of time. Then, uh, they started modifying the way they did it and they came out with, let's pop it in the oven. So, right now it's a seven minute process. Mm -hmm. If it's busy, like we have a lot of people, it'll be seven to 15. Mm -hmm. And if it's like packed, it'll be 15 to 20 minutes. So it's pretty consistent. Yes. It's pretty consistent because that's what I've been seeing. Every, uh, all the customers that have been coming in and out, uh, their food has been delivered to them on time and, and fast. So that's something you can expect here at Elbow's Mac and Cheese, that your food's gonna be delivered on time, fast, and it's gonna be nice and hot. And fresh, like everything we do is from scratch. Nothing is pre-frozen. In the morning, they're doing prep, and then they're fixing everything, so they have it in the line. Mm -hmm. So when you order something, and you're like, I want it, but without this, without this, without this, no problem. You, we'll do the batch, we'll do everything, and we'll remove the things you don't like. Mm -hmm. So we won't add them, you know? It's not like we take them out. Yeah. We add them to it. Yeah. So it is made from scratch, and that's why we did that window at yeah. the kitchen, so you can see everything that's going in. Yeah. If it's another restaurant, you're paying big, big bucks, or something you don't know what they're making. Exactly, so and that's why I keep mentioning yeah. on, on the camera that you know, like some restaurants, they literally just pop it in the oven and it's and, it, and that's it. But right here, it's made from scratch, man. And like sometimes it's frozen, man. And you can taste it. You can taste when it's frozen. But this here is delicious, not frozen. It's fresh, and I really enjoyed it. It's really good. It's I'm really good. Like it. It's something that will make you fall asleep afterwards because it's comfort food. It's comfort food, especially like like I was telling Matthew earlier that congratulations on his customer service, man. Matthew uh, uh, is, is a great leader yeah. and, uh, and and he, he, he treated us with, with uh, like, like, like family as soon as we got here. Uh, um, congrats to Matthew on the way he treats people, man. You, you keep that guy around, he's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do to create that atmosphere where when everyone walks in, everyone is trying to make their experience better. Mm -hmm. And if the experience is not what you expected, please talk to the manager or talk to anyone or send a DM or a private message on Facebook or Instagram. I'll answer it personally. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, sometimes even give them my number to call me and tell me what happened. We'll make it better. Yeah. There's other places that you'll go that people will never even see the reviews. They won't even care what happened. It'll just stay there like something else. Mm -hmm. But we take care of every customer. Yeah. So if, if they don't like the experience, we'll tell them to come back in and we'll make the experience way better than going there. No, I definitely felt welcome. It was a, a great experience. And then uh, meeting you, uh, I hadn't, I, I've been talking to you on, on, on the social media, but I hadn't met you. You're, you're a nice you're a nice person. I can tell you're a very nice guy, man. And, and I can tell where 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 this it all it all comes from this is where it comes from 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 you man and this yeah, is awesome it's all about um, i was going to ask you on the menu what, is there anything in particular that you came up with yourself or we changed everything already all the recipes are changed uh we did because you say you did you do you do you do yeah. you come from a culinary background i'm a huge gordon ramsay fan oh, i oh, i love okay. i love anything with food network uh my 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 channel um started by doing reviews uh, my first my first review was on tower burger and uh and it and it just blew up and then after that i just kept doing food reviews and then it blew up into like doing celebrity uh cameos and celebrities would come on my show and and i would interview them and then we would probably like go eat or whatever and then uh and then now i was like you know i'm gonna go back to my roots and do a do a, a review video, which has been going like I mean, I, my my review videos 
are never negative. I've never had nothing negative to say about anybody. It's always positive because the places that I've been to have always been uh, uh, great places. So, and, and this place hasn't been, uh, uh, hasn't, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, it hasn't uh, disappointed me at all, man. This is this is a, a, a great great experience that I've had. And then also, well, um, I was telling Matthew, this is my first time doing the show with my professional camera. Uh, I usually I usually do the show with my phone, okay. you know. And uh, last 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 interview that I had, it was kind of grainy and stuff, and I was and I wasn't happy because I also want to deliver my viewers quality, just like you want to deliver quality food. I want to deliver quality content to my viewers. So I was like, man, I have a $4,000 camera. Why don't I use it? Because I'm also a photographer and a videographer. I, and I had a camera there. I only use it for work, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to use it for my channel. It's the first time. So everything here that you're seeing right now, folks, is in high definition 4K. All right. A lot of people tell me that people don't notice quality. Mm -hmm. like, okay. It might be true. A lot of people don't notice quality, mm -hmm. but the ones that do mm -hmm. will say it. Yeah. So that's why I use like the best quality products, like our cheese, our mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. spaccio cheese from Italy. Oh wow! And it's not just like I got the mozzarella low, mo low moisture from HEV and just put it in there. See, no. like we look for the best ingredients. It's a good cheese, man. It's good because like the way the way it pulls out when you pull it out and, and it strings up, like it, you could tell it's right. good cheese. If you had another kind of cheese, low moisture or whatever, it wouldn't have that. It moisture. just looks liquidy. Yes. It looks liquidy. Like uh, other mac and cheeses that I've seen, they're just liquidy. You've never seen it pull. And, and today I made sure that the camera saw how it pulled, man. <laughs> that was cool. I was like, I actually saw the camera. The last time you saw you saw a cheese pulling like that was in the Ninja Turtles part two <laughs> when they have that pizza and it's just yeah. pulling all that cheese. Well, thank that's you. That's what I wanted to get. Right? That kind of cheese. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Well, Isaac, thank you so much for having us here in your establishment. It's an amazing place. I encourage everybody to come on by. And if you don't want to come on by, you can go uh, on, on social media and on the, on the apps and order your food online. And it's going to be delivered fresh to your house as well. So thank you so much, Isaac. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a uh, being a part of the of the Jack's World uh, show, and uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Come on by and try Elbows Mac and Cheese here and far next to the Gold's Gym, Jack's World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack's World, Jack's World, Jack's World. Yeah, yeah, yeah.